Hey guys, it's Sharon with Little Britain Company and um, I am here today not with Timu and not with a tutorial but with some Christmas shopping. I just thought I would share some Christmas shopping with you. I got to go shopping this past weekend for a little bit and this is TJ Maxx all the way. Oh my gosh, I can't even lift the bags. I mean bags. Let's see if I can do all my, I can't. There's one more bag over there so you know bags. <laughs> And bags and bags and bags. So, oh. So, um, anyway, I wanted to do some Christmas shopping. I'm gonna, I don't even feel, I'm gonna put this one on the floor. It's so, so big. Um, ready to see what I got? Okay. So, all right, let's start off with, oh, this is so fun. This is so cool. If you have a Harry Potter fan in your family, look at this. It's a hot cocoa set, but it changes color. So just like a little, I don't know, chemist set or, you know, magical hot cocoa set. So this is supposed to change color, color changing hot chocolate. And I don't know, let's see, there's one for Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, Slytherin, and Gryffindor. But it doesn't, I don't know if they are different flavors. They all just say hot chocolate mix. And it's got the um, marshmallows in the middle. I just thought that was really cute for um, for my eldest and his wife because they do they do love it. Oh, before I get to go too far, I do have some Timu on. Um, so, uh, see, I got into it because I was so excited about this stuff. Um, so I I'm just gonna kind of put out there I am clearly on a healthy um, journey, which includes a lot of weight loss. I have lost two sizes so far in a not tremendously long period of time. I really started this uh, back at the end of September. So it's been about two months and I've gone down about two sizes, which is fairly rapid, I think. Um, and I haven't done anything crazy. <clears throat> I'm, not, I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm just trying to eat very he uh, healthy, very heart healthy. If you're new to my channel, um, I had a minor stroke a few months ago, a couple of months ago, and that has just kind of completely changed our lives. And, um, you know, maybe not in a bad way. Maybe it was a great wake up call. It was, it was minor. Um, there was no damage. Thank goodness. Uh, but, um, but since then we have certainly started on this very heart healthy for all of us. Uh, Big Brit, my husband, uh, Little Brit, our 12 year old, and myself, um, the older children live elsewhere and they're pretty, they're pretty healthy to begin with. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just going to put that out there. If you want to keep joining us, um, I'll start sharing information about how this is happening for us. Um, what I am eating, what I'm not eating is almost any kind of sugar right there. Sugar. It's gone. Um, but that doesn't mean I'm not eating any sugar. I allow myself two squares of a 72% dark chocolate because <laughs> I love chocolate. Um, and I, I've just kind of experimented with a few different companies. Um, so I want to say it's Lindor that's, that I find kind of has the better uh, options. So I read every single label there is. Um, I eat salmon three times a week. That's usually, that's a, a, often a thing for my lunches. Um, I'll make myself a Greek salad. Uh, but I have to be careful because I found out that the olives, excuse me, the olives I use, and I'm trying to think of the name of those. There's a name for them. Somebody out there will put it in the comments. I know because you guys are wonderful about helping me out. So there's a specific olive you put into this along with the, with the um, feta cheese and, you know, all the other good stuff. And you don't add any dressing. You don't really need to. Honestly, with the feta and the olives, they create almost their own dressing. I love the Greek salads. So that is not a hardship for me. That's like a treat. Um, so I also like things like three bean salads and the beans are really good for you. So it's just been sort of a shift into what we were eating. We were eating a lot of processed, a lot of over the counter. Um, you know, I haven't had a hamburger. Well, I had a turkey burger. So last night my husband made turkey burgers, which were really quite good. Even he was surprised. Um, so that's what we're doing right now. We try to get out every night to walk the dogs, although you know, when it's rainy or yucky or there's a whole lot going on, we're not always good about doing it every night. 
Um, but we're, we're getting pretty good at just trying to do, you messed my hair, about trying to get out and, and do things. So to that end, this t-shirt was one I purchased at the beginning of this journey uh, before I even realized I was going to need to start losing weight. And, and it's clearly, you know, way, way, way too big. Um, and today, to, I was so excited. Today, I fit into a pair of jeans I haven't worn in years, but I just could not get rid of them. Um, they were a pair that my husband loved on me, and today I put them on, and I didn't even struggle to put them on. I just put them on, and I was just like... So, you know, some some good is coming out of this. We're getting healthy. We're, you know, trying to take care of the what we now know as plaque buildup and everything we can. So that's my little story. I'm going to get back to showing you what I got. Uh, but you may have it here, sprinkles of that, just so people know. And, and because, you know, I thought it, there might be other people who could benefit from some of what we're going through. Because it was, it was a surprise for us uh, that this would happen at my age and, and what I'm going through. So, anyway, so this is a Timu t-shirt. Let me show it to you again. It is cute. Okay, hot chocolate. I don't even know what it says. Hot chocolate something. I can't read it upside down. Cozy blankets and Christmas movies. Yes, that is something I love, although I haven't had hot chocolate yet. I'll have to find a good dark chocolate because dark chocolate is actually good for you if it's a certain percentage. Um, milk chocolate is a big no-no at this point for me. But um, And look at these cute Timu earrings. These are adorable. Love this. <clears throat> okay, moving on. Let's get on to the stuff. Okay, so these are Christmas presents. Little Brit who is still a bit under the weather, um, is asleep in the other room. So I'm going to be quiet while I talk about some of this. So I found this wonderful canteen or thermos for him. That child breaks more thermoses. Is it just being a 12 year old boy? We've gone through more thermoses, but I thought he would really enjoy this one because it's got that outdoor feel to it. He loves to, he loves to, um, go on hikes and things. So it's got a carbine. It can attach to your belt. Um, it's got, you know, this, this, I think you can take off. Well, it does come off. So it comes off like that. I, th I was thinking it might detach on both sides and turn it into a bracelet, but it doesn't. Um, but this actually has a little compass on it. Kind of cool. Um, and I found this, and of course, everything here is from TJ, TJ Maxx. Let's see if I can get it back in there. Uh, okay. Is there, oh, it's got a whistle on. We're not going to blow it. It's got a little, look at that. It's got a little whistle on it too. This is like a cute little survival thing and a reflective piece. I, I'm not going to pull, I'll pull it off. <laughs> it's I'm not going to do that. Sorry. Look, look at that. So if you need to reflect to, to get somebody, let's say you're, you know, you're in the middle of the way, if you're somebody who hikes or, you know, someone who likes to hike, this is the reflection is important for if someone's trying to find you, you can reflect from a distance, from quite a distance. Um, and then if you see the top of that, it's got a serrated edge. So you could actually conceivably use that to, um, to cut some wood or something. So this is really cool. What's it called? Zenith stainless steel. It doesn't really talk about all the great things it does. So this was originally, I don't know what it was originally, it's covered up, but I bought it for $12, which I thought was a really good deal. Okay, all right, it's got a paracord, whistle, buckle, flint rod, it's got a fire starter in there somewhere, metal scraper, compass, safety ring, paracord stopper, paracord knot, and carbiner. There we go. Okay, stuck to it. All right. Next, I found so something else. My my like my normal little little snack uh, to give me protein on a daily basis. Um, I have I I don't I, I don't mind nuts at all. Um, I prefer peanuts, and so I have been eating peanuts. Now there are other nuts that are probably better for me. Um, I have some pistachios that I eat sometimes, but my husband and I both are big peanut lovers. Look what I found for him. <laughs> I 
isn't this hilarious? Sea salt Virginia peanuts. It's like this nice cut out of a cognac. He's so British. I think that he'll really enjoy this. Um, it's This it is really cute. It's packaged really nicely. Before I put it under the tree, I'll plump up the ribbon. Um, but this one was $12.99, which I thought for that, full of the peanuts, because that just is sort of fun. I thought that was cool. His, so his, my husband's a big present this year, and it is a big one, um, is the PS5, which he's getting early. He knows about it because he had to really pick whether he wanted the disc or whether he wanted the digital, he wanted the disc, and um, we've got to drive somewhere to pick it up, so, because those things are still hard to find. All right, that's one bag. I'll put that one aside. I'm going to hide it under here. I'm in my little office studio, so the guys don't normally come in here. Okay, let's see what else we think. I don't remember. It was, it was like four days ago. You can't expect me to remember. Okay, this is not the viral one, but I think it's just as cute. Look at this. Look at that adorable little gingerbread cup. This is for me. This one is for me. <laughs> so I know that there's a viral one that instead of the windows, it has uh, pink trees. I think this is kind of a sister cup to it. This is made by Holly and Joy, and it was $5.99. I love it. Um, I'll probably do like hot apple cider um, and a very, very occasional hot chocolate because I love hot chocolate, but you know, heart healthy. Got to be careful. <laughs> that and I'm very, very careful about salt. I have smidgens of salt. You can't do without salt. You, you have to have salt in your diet. You have to have salt from somewhere. Okay, I know I said it was Christmas shopping, but yes, this is also for me. I can have soup in it. All right, if you're not familiar with me, I have a thing for this, for Candy Cane. The whole, like, the Candy Cane Lane song. I love that song. We decorate the front of the house like it is Candy Cane Lane. <laughs> and when I saw this, with the Candy Cane look inside it, I love it. Um, th there were two there. This one had the better of the two designs. Um, cause you can see it's, you know, it's not perfect where it meets here. I think that would be very, very hard to get right. Um, but it, you know, I'm not going to notice that when I'm drinking and I start to see the candy canes underneath. So, all right, this one was, this is from Peppermint and Pine. That is, look at the bottom. That is so cute. Uh, and this one was four, four, four ninety nine. Such a good deal. Uh, oh, and this we just needed for the house. So I'm going to open this up and put it out tomorrow because I'm not allowed to put anything Christmassy up around the house before Thanksgiving. That is my very British husband's. That's our agreement. It's not his his choice. It's our agreement. <laughs> and, you know, to be fair. Okay. But I found this really cute set. I'm actually going to go back and see if I can find other ones. I saw some from other people's hauls. So if I go back, I may take you all along for the walkthrough. This set was $7.99. Um, and I just really liked it. Oh, I didn't read that though. So I just looked at it and, went, and I didn't read, I didn't even smell it. I was just like, oh, I love the design. I think this is so cute. And this is cinnamon stick. I happen to be allergic <laughs> to fake cinnamon. So not real cinnamon. I can eat cinnamon. If it's real and fresh, I can have it. But anything that's been processed to put into things for the additional scent makes my nose swell shut. So this has to go back. And I'm a numbskull, because I should have looked. I will, but I, that's, you know what? That's okay. It just gives me a good reason to go back and look for something equally adorable. That's 
what I say. Okay, so let me move those a little bit out of the way. Let's let's get into this big one. Oh, there's a bag on top of the bag. And my receipt. Okay. I'm so excited about these. I am so excited. So one of my husband's favorite things, um, and when we were in Disney, he bought several different pieces of grumpy um, clothing. He bought a hat. He bought the t-shirt. He just loved it. He was really into the grumpy clothing, but grumpy is hard to find. Who knew? Now, my husband also, before he came to the U.S., he thought himself, he thought he was like this br tough British guy. Now he likes his luxuries, which includes fuzzy pajamas. He really likes his fuzzy pajamas, but he only has like I want to say he only has like one or two pairs of really nice fuzzy pajama bottoms. Look what I found. I love it. Always grumpy. <laughs> and guys, these are so soft inside and out. That's the thing. Sometimes you find them and they're really soft on the outside and they're not soft on the inside. I'm like, why would you? I want something that, that's touching my skin to be soft. I don't care about the stuff that's outside of my skin. Anyway, these are really wonderful. There were two pairs, only two pairs. Um, and they were $9.99. There was this size, which is, I think, an extra large. Um, he's losing weight too. So he used to be a very skinny guy. And then he, he just put on a belly and the belly's coming off. <laughs> yeah, you read that right. Um, well, he's always been adorable to me, but, um, but then I found, so Little Brit, if you haven't seen some of the past, and if you haven't, take a look back at some of the other ones. When you see him next, this kid is shooting up. He is 12 years old. He's almost as tall as we are. I'm 5'9". He's 5'5". Five, five. And he's 12. So he just, he just had a physical, big physical. And um, he's in like the 90, 90th percentile for height. I'm like... Man, he's going to be so tall. So we have to buy him adult clothing just for the uh, just for the height of it because his torso is long, his legs are long. So right now, even though he could wear, he could still wear like 14s. They're usually just too short. They're just too short for him. Even like the 16s and the 18s in kids' clothes are generally not always long enough for him. So we just go with adult small. But they had adult small. <laughs> it's so cute. And they can match on Christmas morning. So I'll get them matching like something cute. I'm, so, I'm still looking for cute Christmas tops. I did find this one um, for Little Brit. Uh, because he'll have different. Um, oh my gosh. He's going to have all sorts of different things coming up this coming month for school. He's in the band. Um, he's trying out for all district for the band. He plays trombone. And so they'll have a big Christmas concert. And for the Christmas concert, they got it for Christmassy. So we did buy him a um, Christmas suit. So cute. And he loves wearing suits. He loves wearing suits. Um, but anyway, for anything else that he's got coming up and the different days when they like dress out, um, I found him this. Isn't that the cutest t-shirt? I found they only had one. And it was, it's a small, it, no, it's a medium. So they only had one and it's a medium, but looking at it, it's it'll be fine for him. To me, it looks like a skinny medium. For an adult male, that looks like a skinny medium. But, and he can wear it more than one year, which is always nice for him at his age. Goes through clothes so fast. See if I can lift this. Okay, there we go. Okay, so for my eldest son, the one uh, and his wife, the ones who got the who are getting the Harry Potter mix, um, I always give them a something spode every year. I give them some. We we I don't I we give them something spode. Normally, it's uh, different. Some of the different dishes. So they have a nice assortment of dishes now. So this year, I'm going to give them the spode table. Um, this was $19.99. They say originally it's $32. And they sell that, you know, these. this is just so nice. 
and I like that it has that sort of British connection, but it also has a connection to my mother, who my, uh, my eldest son um, was very close to before she passed. So we, you know, we both like that connection to, to my mom. Okay. All right, something else for me. You know, there might be a few more things for me. That's okay, right? Look at get this is. <laughs> so you, I know my voice completely changes. So this is one of the, this top one. That's not a sponge. This is actually um, this cute little top gingerbread guy is for uh, hanging off of your oven. I, and I love ones like this. I love to hang this stuff off my oven. I just want something right there where I can dry my hands quickly. And then look at the one on the back. I love this one. I just think this is, this is really cute. And we actually, we have a lot of dish towels, but quite honestly, they're getting old and they're fraying. So it's time for us to start switching out and getting rid of the old ones. I will usually recycle them in some of my crafting things uh, because they turn into really great, um, rags and other things they can turn into some other great options but um i thought that one was good i have this was this was a great find for my crafty friends um so uh, you know i'm a crafter uh and i do shows i do a lot of sewing i do sewing and paper craft so i say i have a textile paper craft business um but one of the things that i um i make the reusable paper towel and then i make a matching making matching <laughs> Um, it's like a, uh, the, the, the thing that helps you open jar opener type thing. Um, so you use this kind of thing that helps you open the jars. And, um, I found this ginormous thing of it for four fifty. I normally buy a little roll at Dollar Tree for a dollar 25 for four fifty for this giant thing. I'm not going to need a lot for a while. I was so excited. And it's Farberware, which I know, you know, it's nice. So you do use this kind of um, shelf liner. At least I do. Because it's grippy. So that was exciting. Okay, next. Okay, my husband, every year, don't ask me why, loves getting soap. He likes bar soap and he likes different, he likes the big bars of soap. He just does. He wants every year, he really, he truly asks for socks and soap. So this year, I, <laughs> I found him soap on a rope. <laughs> and a Christmas one, it's adorable, mistletoe mint. This is really, really cute. I think it's adorable. I think he'll like it. Um, he'll, he'll enjoy the humor of it. He, uh, he does, he does enjoy his humor. Um, okay. And then actually just for the house, um, but this is a great present for, for people who are trying to be more environmentally conscious as are my reusable paper towels. Just saying, you can buy those on Facebook. You can follow. <laughs> Let's move on. Um, so I found, uh, these little compost that sits on your counter and you just, you know, when you've got things you need to compost, you put a little bag in here and then, um, you know, pull it out, dump it into your composter. We have one of those big barrel, double barrel composters, so you can switch sides. Um, this was on, this was on sale for four fifty, So it had been at TJ Maxx, it had been five ninety nine, And I don't know what the original price was. Maybe, it, maybe it had originally been, this is interesting. Let's, let's see what it looks like under here. Cause they cover stuff up. It said compare at, and then it said, was that the compare at? No, compare at, I pulled it off, something else. Anyway, um, they had several of these. So these were on clearance, four fifty. I thought that was a good price. So I grabbed up one of them, but they had other ones and they had other color rims. These are so cute. All right, so these are adorable little stocking stuffers. Look at how cute that is. This is a little post-it notes. $2.99 for the post-it notes and the pen. I thought this was just a super cute little um, little stocking stuffer or we'll do um, a secret Santa. And um, I thought that was cute. So I bought two of them. So cute. 
I actually have a friend um, who has a corgi, loves, she loves corgis. I may actually just send this over to her because she'd like the corgi. Um, oh, and for Little Brit's stocking, a giant thing of bubblegum. He is not a big candy eater. He does, he'll eat candy occasionally, but he doesn't crave it or ask for it a lot, but he likes gum. So yes, we do the battle with the gum and the teeth. Usually he actually chooses things like Orbit, which have, you know, which are kind of healthy for teeth. They're, they're not bad. Um, but I think he'll, he'll enjoy this and he'll, he'll get a kick out of it. So there's a stocking stuffer. I thought this was adorable. $2.99, again, it's a great little stocking stuffer. It's great for teachers. It's got a little, these post-its, these are just like, this is just a little notebook. So you've got a little notebook on the inside, you've got your pen, and then it closes up. Thought that was cute. So I thought I got, no, I just got one of those. And then this one was for me, and I hope that there's none of the green missing. This green was open. But look at these wonderful ribbon options. Let me do it from this side. This is Martha Stewart, which means that it's, um, you know, it's pretty much always going to be quality. I love this gingerbread. <laughs> it is adorable. So this one was adorable and this one was um, $7.99 for this pack of all this ribbon. Let's see how much ribbon is actually in there. This has um, a total of 50 yards. So probably 10 yards of each. That's a decent amount for $7.99. It's a good amount. And one more thing for me. Really, it's for all of us, isn't it? You know, because we all go shopping together. Look at this shopping bag. I love it. I could, you know, I could certainly make this. I could certainly make a shopping bag, but... Um, but I, I can't, you know, this is, this heavy duty material would be hard for me to find. Um, and I just loved it. This is Jingles and Joys. I think I had another Jingles and Joy in there and it was $5.99. And I thought for the Christmas season, I really like it. These are like little twist ties that come with it. And I wonder if they're to twist tie the top. So if you have like big stuff in here, you can sort of twist tie the top so it doesn't come open. Kind of a nice idea. I think I have a number of favorites. And yes, you can see I have a candy cane thing. I have a thing. It's a thing. All right. That's it. That was my big shopping trip. I'm going to resort all of this, get this ready. I'm going to take the other thing back because the cinnamon, which is such a shame. I should have looked. I should have looked. I should have looked. Um, I should have smelled it actually first before I bought it. But I was so excited about the look of it. That I just liked it so much. Anyway, I hope you saw something that you liked. And um, if I go back to TJ Maxx, I might bring you all along. <laughs> if you like what you saw, come hang out with us a little bit more. Join the channel. Subscribe. I'll do my little Vanna White. Um, hit the like button. Be notified. Come on back. In the meantime... Um, I hope you had a great Thanksgiving and um, hope you're uh, hope you're getting ready for your holidays. Cheers.